Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So here I have the Galaxy S23 Ultra, Pixel 8 Pro, and iPhone 15 Pro Max. Today we are going to compare the low light video recording capability of these three devices. All right, guys. So now I'm recording 4K 30 FPS from the front-facing camera. So for low light, we'll just compare 30 FPS because if you use 60, the the image quality won't be great anyway, right? So for front-facing camera, I think all three are performing quite okay. I can't really tell a difference unless we move to a much darker place, right? And now this is a very, very dimly light place. I think it's quite obvious that the Pixel 8 Pro is doing the best here, right? At least uh, it's the brightest, and I can see the colors are still sort of okay. Uh, Samsung is darker than Pixel, and the colors seem off to me. As for the iPhone, it's very dark. I can't really see much. So although the Pixel is very noisy, I say it is the best of, of them, okay? Now, if you want to switch to rear-facing cameras, you can do that without stopping the recording on Samsung. However, that's not the case for iPhone and Pixel, right? So see here, I just switch, and now I'm on front-facing camera on iPhone for Pixel and Oh, I mean Samsung, sorry. So for Pixel and iPhone, I'll have to stop. And restart the recording, all right? So now we are using the rear-facing main camera, the One X, uh, 4K 30 FPS on all three. And you can see how well they perform. I think they all look great. I can't really tell a difference until I go back to my PC. Okay, but one thing I, I think is worth mentioning is that um, iPhone and Pixel, they allow you to switch lenses at 4K 60 FPS. So the ultra wide, the main lens, and the zoom, you can switch between them, even if you are recording 4K 60. And uh, you can't do that on Samsung. So Samsung is lagging behind in this area now, right? Hopefully they'll support that on S24 Ultra. Okay, now let's see how well they perform for the dark area, for the detail, for panning and everything. Okay, and then when I'm walking, I can check the stabilization performance. Now, let me uh, run a little bit and see if there is any difference. Okay, so that's a uh, stabilization for you. And then as for exposure or HDR, I do see that the iPhone can preserve the highlight the best, followed by Samsung, and Pixel actually blown out the, the light, right? If you can see the, the green light is completely blown out on Pixel. Then you see the highlight areas uh, in the building. iPhone and Samsung are doing okay, and they seem to be blown out on Pixel as well. Let's move to a darker place. Okay, now this is a very, very dark place and uh, it seems to be super dark and uh, almost unusable on iPhone, from at least from the viewfinder. I'm not sure whether it's the auto brightness of the display itself, but uh, at least uh, from the viewfinder, Samsung and Pixel look okay to me. Quite bright actually, I, actually I'm quite surprised that they can record such decent video videos uh, under such lighting condition. This is a terribly lit place, right? but they, are, they still appear to be quite sharp and clear and clean to me. But if we switch to the ultra wide, 
and then yeah there's nothing left on Samsung or iPhone but the pixel is doing much better than Samsung or iPhone it's much brighter there are still details although it's very noisy right but I mean at least you can see something okay now back to mainland okay now let's compare the zoom a little bit so on pixel and iphone i can use 2x zoom which is uh, digitally uh, cropped out from the main sensor and on samsung i can use the 3x optical zoom but in low light conditions optical zoom doesn't mean better right here you can see the 2x are actually a little bit brighter on pixel because the main sensor can capture more light compared to the smaller and uh, uh, slower sensors right for the for the zoom right so that's 2x on pixel and iphone and 3x on samsung what do you think which one looks better to you and then of course you can zoom all the way to 10x on samsung and 5x on pixel and iphone okay uh, it actually looks quite sharp to me on the pixel for 10x uh, for 5x uh, iphone is also also okay -ish. and uh, 10x on samsung is quite noisy what if i digitally zoom the pixel and iphone to 10x as well okay what do you think i think they are actually better than the samsung optical tunnel right because the 5x zoom lens have like larger aperture maybe even larger sensor so yeah so longer zoom is not always better in low light at least for video right now we are back to 1x and uh, yeah how about uh, ultra wide in this lighting okay that's ultra wide hmm okay they look uh see they look similar to me All right then back to 1x right okay so yeah that's it that's the low light video recording comparison between these three flagship devices thank you for watching see you next time